Welcome to a climactic start to another day of trash picking. And we've got this dinky little thing. In the trunk you go. My last video was 42 minutes long and I don't think I'm gonna let that happen this time. So what do you think? Should I take this mongoose? Somebody was nice enough to uh, disassemble it for us. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna take it. Maybe. I don't really want this bike, so I decided to just take the pedals and the wheels in the trunk there. These are pretty much the only good parts on the bike. This guy turned on his chainsaw just as I got out of the car. So can you hear anything? Look at this cord. We don't care about loud chainsaws. We just care about vacuum cleaner cords. All right, you know what? I'm gonna cut the plug off. Dump it in his little bucket and take our cord. And I wanna show you one other thing. A buddy of mine's always looking for air conditioners and he's out on the route today for the first time in years. So I picked up this air conditioner for him and I bunked into him and he said, oh yeah, I don't want air conditioners anymore. So I'm gonna cut the cord off of this one and uh, re-gift it later. This looks like an interesting pile, but I'm gonna have to be careful because there's address labels on everything. I'm so sick of blurring out address labels. What do we got? Baby stuff. No, this isn't baby stuff. This is like drink cups from resorts. Bob the Builder candle? Aren't these figural candles kind of mean? Like, would you really want to light that guy on fire? Let's see, what's this here? That is a thing that's... Jeez, that's a lot of... It's a glass in a box. See, I'm really working on the, uh, the pacing of these videos. The last one seemed a little boring. Here. Aw. Pet hair clippers. What's in here? Sunglasses? Whoa, what happened to my, uh, my exposure just there? That's wild. Oh, my goodness. There's a little Jesus thing. That's nice. Alright, so we're gonna go down the line. Melted candles. Cookbooks. A ceramic shoe with real laces in it. Wow. Ashtrays. St. Thomas. <laughs> I'll keep that. Oops. The Sands Hotel Casino Atlantic City. All right. Address label covered. Can't see that. Coffee pot and books. Yes, I'm going to close these boxes. Another address label. This is way better. Swirl candle holders. Nah, we don't care. Basically glorified wine glasses. Another address label. Wow. A whole box of coffee mugs. All right. And in here, chess and checkers. Ping pong. I don't know. New York Giants Monopoly. And New York Yankees Monopoly. Alright, so not a great pile. And it uh, kind of dragged on there a little bit. But we're done. I think our day just got a little bit better. And you'll see why 
right uh, right now. Look at this. A Trek bike. It's a pretty color too. And it's not all messed up. That's a beautiful bike, just needs a little cleaning and tuning. And uh, if I'm lucky, I won't have to blur anything out because there's a sign like right over there with some personal information on it about these people. But there's our bike. Let's put it on the rack. There it is. And this bike rack is really on its last legs. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find a new bike rack today. At least we found the bike. I think we may be about to get lucky. Let's see. Oh, so close. So close. It has been so long since we got anything or stopped at a pile that I'm not even sure how I'm going to be able to make a video today. But we do have this very nice bench. And it's an unusual configuration, too. I'm not saying I've never seen anything like this, but not recently. So, if I'm lucky, I can get the wood off without doing too much damage. And I'm going to focus on that without focusing on the video. <laughs> Pun intended. It's actually pretty neat. These screws are machine screws. They're not wood screws. They don't go directly into the wood. They go into a, like a little threaded insert that you can kind of see under there. Can you see that? I'll show you in a second. See, each piece of wood has a threaded insert, and I think what's happened over time is the wood's kind of deteriorated, so the bench isn't really as sturdy as it was. But I don't know, I might try to save the wood. And of course, here's the one screw that didn't want to come out. So. Yeah, you can see the wood's still pretty robust, but it's not great. So we might have to figure out a different way, but cool bench ends anyway. I'm gonna save the wood, which means I gotta take these screws out, but these are sharp little screws. So I gotta make sure not to lose any or leave any in the street. These screws are actually in here really tight. A lot of the time the wood rots and the screws can come out pretty easily, but this wood's really in pretty good shape, which is why I'm trying to save it. We're about halfway done, so I'm going to speed up the process. And there it is, our nice neat stack of wood. We are on a very main road right now. But I wanted to see what this was. Dot matrix printer. Old crappy computer. Old crappy monitors. Was a cord. No, I really stopped because some of these old computers can be worth a lot of money and they're really interesting to me anyway. But that was a bust. And these, sometimes these are iron, but these are the plastic ones. So I think we risked life and limb for nothing, but at least we got a cord out of the deal, right? This might be a little weird because the kid's out here in the driveway playing basketball, but he said I could take the bike. And it is a Raleigh mountain bike. Wow, that might be even nicer than the Trek that we got earlier. Let's see, let's see what we got over here, over on the shady side of the car. Uh, not too bad. The Raleigh Talus, got a rusty chain, you know, some rusty brake noodle and stuff. This is not a bad bike, 26 inch. I think and suspension fork just a little bit neglected so luckily that didn't get awkward and now what's going to be really awkward is trying to fit this on the bike rack that should work out well as long as we don't find any other bikes as long as these don't beat each other up too much and check it out there's my big pile of wood it's been kind of a boring afternoon, but this guy usually throws out some good stuff. How about a fan? No? How about... 
What's that? This looks like it's got something to do with guns, so we'll take that. We love nails. We'll take the nails. We love nails. Oh, you know what these things are? These are those things for like hanging gutters, I think. All right, we'll put together a little bucket of crap. Let's see, what do we got? Painting. Uh, sketchy things for hanging off a roof. Folders. More nails. We love nails. More nails. We love nails. More nails. My God. I think this guy's the nail king. Like, seriously, I've gotten buckets of nails from this guy before. And... These are always cool, but that one's broken. Got some lally columns, I think that's what they're called. Oh, look at this thing. Yeah, that's the real deal. Probably for doing roofing or something. Thing's gotta be like five feet long. Boots, no. Yeah, this guy's probably like a roofing contractor. And flower pots, we don't really need. Chaise lounge, nope, but this is fantastic. Nails and a giant iron thing. Thank you. I also realized that this yellow garbage bucket, it's filthy, but it's just dirt and it's in great shape and it's really cool. So I'm gonna take that too for scrap metal or whatnot. Let's see if it'll fit in the car. Yeah, right on top of the New York Yankees Monopoly game. Looking good. What do you think? Do we want an old tire? Or a Star Wars doll with no head on it? Uh, that's a nice tire, but I think we'll just take the doll. That's gotta be worth a buck, right? I see a blow mold. What do you think? You know how much I love, hate blow molds. Um, should we take this one? Should we uh, bring her home? Tape her up? Fix this gaping hole? Yeah. Maybe not. It's getting late. And it's getting dark-ish. So let's call it a night. Check out what we got. Star Wars guy with no head. Got plenty of nails from that one great pile. This bowling pin. I didn't show you when I was picking this up, but it's a real legit bowling pin. There's that AC I picked up from my friend and he did not want it. So I'm gonna have to re-gift that. Maybe scrap it, but they're only like a penny a pound. Let's see all the wood from the bench. Some wire. Not much scrap today at all. A couple of bike wheels. Bike parts are kind of rare right now. Bench ends. Speaking of bike parts, these ones look like they're pretty much complete. It's a nice Raleigh. Beautiful trek. The color on that's fantastic. Inside here, we got this great recycle bin. I love this thing. Can't wait to fill that with scrap metal. Your Yankees Monopoly game. Giants Monopoly game. Got some more, uh, some more nails. I'm gonna try the slot machine again. Uh, close, but no cigar, I think. More nails in a gap bag. And this is my dinner. Mushrooms, uh, grapes, and this really delicious Diorio's pizza. And I guess that's gonna do it for us. And as usual, I wanna say thanks for coming along and keeping me company while I'm trash picking. So until next time, Thanks for watching.